Your Excellency, Lady and Gentlemen, first of all, I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to the Global Platform 2022 organizer for accepting my application to be a part of the Global Platform 2022. With the permission of His Excellency General Kun Kim, first Vice President of the National Committee for Disaster Management, I would like to share a brief presentation on preparedness for flood response in 2021. My presentation will cover four important parts. Part one, overview and purpose of the presentation. Part two, what did we do to prepare for responding to disaster in 2021? Part three, support from APP and PPC. Part four is about our conclusion. I would like to start the presentation with our part one. In 2020, Cambodia was severely affected by the um, flash flood in our history, in which 222,898 households have been affected. But under the great leadership of His Excellency General Kun Kim, who is the representative of our Sundak Prime Minister Hun Sen, the response operation was carried out very successfully. Through a lot of experience and work we did in 2020, we have strengthened the preparedness for 2021 to be much stronger. What did we do to prepare for responding to disaster in 2021? We formed up 16 surge and the Q team. We updated contingency plan for flood in 2021. We provided training in highly prone provinces. We also organized coordination meeting between NCDM and organizational partner. We regularly follow and spread early warning information, provided refresher training to emergency response and assessment team and emergency assessment team. We also established mobile application or NCDM app. We updated 1294 wireless system. 16 search and the queue team perform up with 1,920 personnel. That means that one team composed of 120 personnel. And with the support of our Sumdak Prime Minister from Sion, through His Excellency General Kun Kim, all the 16 search and the queue team have been well equipped and trained. We updated contingency plan for flood 2021. With the support of World Food Program and Asian Preparedness Partnership, in cooperation with other line ministry institutions and relevant stakeholders, we successfully updated our contingency plan for flood 2021. A significant change is to include the role and responsibility of PPC member, especially the private sector in the plan. Allow me to take this opportunity to share a little bit about the Asian Preparedness Partnership. What is Asian Preparedness Partnership? Asian Preparedness Partnership or APP is a unique multi-stakeholder regional partnership established by the Asian Disaster Preparedness Center or ADPC. It includes countries from the South and Southeast Asia to be better prepared for, respond to, and recover from disaster. The partnership is supported by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and USAID. The Preparedness Partnership of Cambodia or PPC is the national chapter of the APP in Cambodia. It was established in 2018 as a national multi-stakeholder platform for local actors to strengthen the preparedness for emergency response. The key partner of the PPC include National Committee for Disaster Management, representing the government, Cambodian Humanitarian Forum, representing the local humanitarian network, and Federation of Association of Small and Medium Enterprise in Cambodia, representing the private sector. We provided training to officials in highly prone provinces. With the support of the APP, World Food Program, and NCDD, and the Country Partnership Preparedness, uh, Preparedness Partnership of Cambodia, or PPC, and other organizational partner, training had been provided to relevant focal officials at the provincial, district, and commune level. The training mainly focused on the utilization of the provincial contingency plan, simulation exercise, and utilization of the evacuation center. We organized coordination meeting between NCDM and organizational partner and private sector. 
So in 2021, we organized this kind of meeting for two times. During the meeting, it was a great opportunity for NCDM and organizational partners, especially the private sector, to update each other on the available resources to get ready to respond to any particular disaster in the country. In Cambodia, the Ministry of Water Resources is mandated to produce early warning information. So upon receiving the early warning information produced by the Ministry of Water Resources, NCDM is mandated to further disseminate the information to the public to make sure that the people on the ground have enough time to get ready and respond to the disaster. We provided the fresh training to Emergency Response and Assessment Team or ERAT and Emergency Assessment Team or IT. So what is Emergency Response and Assessment Team? The Emergency Response and Assessment Team is the team that has been trained by the AHA Center. And what is Emergency Assessment Team? Emergency Assessment Team is the team that has been trained by the local humanitarian network or CHF. So in 2021, with the support of APP PPC, the two team has been trained for two times. So they had the opportunity to sit together and to work together. Moreover, in 2020, they also had the opportunity to join the joint response operation or joint assessment operation. We completed the establishment of the mobile application or NCDM app with the support of the a private company, um, which is called Dragonfly and Proximate, which are the Malaysian company. NCDM has finished the establishment of our mobile application or NCDM app. During the a flood season in 2021, this app had an important role in disseminating the information to the public on the ground. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to take this opportunity to express our special thanks to the donor of the APP PPC project, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, USAID and ADPC, for providing a very big support to the disaster preparedness in 2021 in Cambodia, including the organization of the uh, coordination meeting between NCDM and relevant organizational partner and private sector, reviewing and updating the national contingency plan to include LNGO and private sector, providing the refresher training to it and Iraq, providing uh, the support to the strengthening of the 1294 wireless system by providing refresher training to four call official at the provincial and district level, providing the support for the development of the gender mainstreaming guideline in flood preparedness. This guideline will help in integrating gender into the flood preparedness and response. This guideline so far is being rolling out at the sub-national level. I would like to jump to the conclusion part. Overall, under the great leadership of His Excellency General Kun Kim, who is the representative of our Sumdak Prime Minister Hun Sen, NCDM had a very strong and comprehensive preparedness for disaster in 2021, including the establishment of the search and acute team, capacity strengthening, planning, information system, early warning system, and simulation exercise. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of my presentation, and I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.